Hi everyone, it's Gretchen here. So another journal done. I'm just going to do a quick flip through and uh, at the end I'll show you the cover. So this is the inside. I did put a um, pocket down and added some of these uh, seed packets. They were cut apart so I picked up at Joanne's. I'll show you that at the end. And then uh, this was a cut apart in the actual 12 by 12 uh, scrapbook pad. And then some trim. I kind of like the whole uh, color busyness of it. And then this is a flip up page. Just another one of those cut aparts. Just clipped in there. Some writing paper, a vellum flag, and uh, the butterfly punch. Just staple it all together. With this piece, I glued this side down. Inserted, inserted some of these uh, like little paper checks. And then on the other side, it works as a tuck spot, but there's also, you can flip that out and journal on it, and then flip it back down. This is again the you see this paper a lot through here and just some writing uh, spots. A ticket belly band with a journal card. And all I did for this was I punched out the ticket and then wrap that last piece around it and glued it down and that became a little tuck spot and then acts as my belly band. I like a lot of um, writing spots in my journal. Pocket with some writing paper and then just a little ephemera cord tucked in there. There's the middle of my first signature. This is the half doily die I got from uh, Downton Abbey Crafters Companion. So there's, that is what it looks like. And then I just glued it down and then inserted some of these little uh, writing room sp spots. And you can just tuck it in there. Again, the playing with my butterfly punch, and then I just took the butterflies I punched out and attached it to some notebook paper to write on, and then just tucked both of them back in. The secret is not to grab the delicate parts of the butterfly, and then I think it just looks cute because you can see a peak of the little flower of the writing paper through it. This is just attached with one of those hangers, paper clips, and I was going to actually glue this down and make a pocket out of it, but I decided not to. I'll just attach it, and then it can be used as a bookmark, and uh, then I left the uh, ribbon on there to stick out on the top, so we'll get that later. A little tuck and then the second sign uh, signature starts a nice wide belly band some bags with stickers and then I just took a clothespin and more of those seed packet cut apart so you can journal on the back clipped them together This is a uh, glassine bag that I dyed and put a little journaling card in there. But what I like about it is 
you can't quite see it through the bag unless you, you know, rub your fingers over it and then you can kind of make out what it says. But um, just a cute little embellishment. This is a little notebook made of my scraps. Just tuck some notes in there. And then I just clipped it in. My little secret journaling spot. Flip it out, you can write in it, fold it over. A little flag that has a German card. I made my second signature just a pocket to store pictures or notes in. And then here's the other side of that secret spot. On here I just clipped a couple of fun things. Some of the tickets and then a uh, little uh, party bag so you can store some things in there I just think it looks fun with all the colors together and then just paper clipped it in Oops. well when I did that this fell off it's just a little journal card I had over here Some more writing paper and also up here as well here's the other side of my bags a little washi tape a couple of stickers it's just scrap paper I figure just add it in it matches some colors and a little card to write on. Here is the back page. Another little pocket, another card. I have a Joanne Shop With Me video up where I'm actually looking at this burlap and thinking what I can do with it. If you recall, it had uh, big yellow fluffy pom-poms on it. I took those off and put down an enamel dot instead. Um, I think it adds great character to it. And then there is the back of my cover. In the front, a little trim embellishment, my stitch, and one of those hitch posts and a charm. And you just bring it over and attach it. So that is, I guess, uh, what'd you call it? The seed packet journal? I don't know. I'll have to think of a name. Um, so that's my journal. And then I gotta put that back in. Uh, this is the paper I used for all those seed packets. You can see there's eight, 12, 12 squares. Or probably, I don't know, three by three. You can cut them apart. It's relatively thin paper. Joanne's is where I picked this up at. And uh, they're great. You can make little books or, you know, journaling spots blank on the outside not all of my paper but the heavier paper came from this paper pad at Michael's um, what my goal was I tried to actually use a whole cut apart sheet because I think it comes with four I think I used just a strip off of that one so um, that's what my goal was with this find those I know they're in here somewhere. There's the cover of my book. You'll recognize that. That was, uh, I was trying to think, what can I do with that? And I made my second cover for my signature with that. 
there's a lock of the cutter part. I thought there was another one in here. That might be it. You may hear my kitty crying in the background. There is the other one. So I tried to use that whole sheet in there. All right, that is uh, my current journal flip through. I'm working on another one, and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for hanging with me for a little bit. Take care. Bye-bye.